Now, every meetup we ever have at Rockwell Ducati is always a lot of fun. The usual gang is there. There's always somebody new with a bike or two that we haven't seen. And we usually get to set up with our friends and go for a nice casual ride. Now, today we got to see Vlad unveil his brand new Buell. And he's got two of them now. And other bikes that we haven't seen yet. And, of course, something that really blows you away. Oh, it's a beautiful day here up at Rockwell. Just beautiful. Looks like we have some of the usual suspects and it's nice and early. It's always nice to get up there early because the ride up through the area where they are is nice and cool in the morning. And we have been going through a terrible heat wave and finally it looks like it's broken. And now hopefully we're going to be entering the nicest time of the year to get some real quality rides in. And it is really nice today for riding. Whoa. Charlie's really nice Ducati is one of the bikes that he has really, really maintained well. And he's got two Ducatis. I think he's still got the older one. I'm not sure. Beautiful, beautiful Ducati. It's the gal with the butterflies. Yes, the butterflies. I get butterflies That's just looking at this protection. bike. The lowered bike. Well, you got wow. Lowered with butterflies. Lowered with butterflies. <laughs> wow. You guys are really world travelers. You're like itchy boots on steroids here. Wow. So Charlie's Ducati look clean as ever. One thing I love about this bike, there's no place you can see the where all that, well, all the fairings, the little Zeus fittings, everything just blends right in. Really nice. Now, once again, as usual, the, the usual, say, 20, 25 people that we see every week. And there's always somebody that we haven't seen. Or sometimes there's more than one or more than two. And there's always people getting new bikes and making modifications to the bike that we haven't seen yet. So there's always something interesting. And Jerry's always got his white pants on. And uh, he always thinks he wants to compare my pants to his pants. And, uh, but the problem is, he almost always wins. There you go. Yeah. That's the one Tim has or not? Which one does Tim have? Jose, here's your chance to get revenge on Mike. Here's your chance. Uh, I, I see some revenge coming. Ready for some revenge? That's not what I heard. There's a lot of nasty posts on it. They said you, you don't treat Jose with the proper respect. Oh, they're all starting to roll in now. It's a beautiful day. Oh, man. Oh, God. We got everybody here. What a day. Bars are above the triple clamps. So yeah. Is that by itself makes a huge difference. Yeah. And, uh, and the bend is slower, but. Yeah, this is like a real OG, though. I love it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Not too much fun when you're running with other Ducatis now because they have so much fun. <laughs> I 
Now, this looks like a really, really well-maintained bike, a classic. Look at it real close, and, and boy, when you take pictures of stuff, and you go home and look at it, oh, that's a beautiful motorcycle. Boy, I'll, I'll bet Joe Roselli's loving that one, and Charlie, too. Anyway, but there's always something new, always something different. The guys are always changing here. Somebody's going to wear in a set of slicks soon. And all of the bikes, it, there's just an eclectic mix of bikes. A lot, obviously, a lot of Ducatis and a lot of people that enjoy Ducatis. But there's some, there's something for everybody. There's, there actually was another MT-09 there today. And this was a classic. Uh, he was just at the market meetup. I recognize the helmet. And he had already gone on a long ride. And But it's just a great place to hang out on the weekends right on 9W, north of the Bear Mountain Bridge. And just come up and join us on the weekend. Now, I've been going there for so many years, and the crowd just gets better and better and better. There's an awful lot of people poking fun at each other, and and I'm one of them. And But you got to learn to roll with the punches, and if you want to dish it out, you got to learn to take it and take your turn in the proverbial barrel. So what do you think, Jer? Oh, you got your white pants on. Oh, Let's yeah. do the pants check. Get over here in the sun. Let's see. Ah, it's a tie today. You gotta, you gotta upgrade a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Clean. Man, I felt so bad. I liked her. Yeah. Monster. They did the monster mash. I couldn't tell. Craig's beautiful ninja. What a beauty. Oh, what is this? That's a buell. There's a Vlad. A Vlad with the buell. Let's go over and see Vlad with the buell. This ought to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Look at this, baby, EBR. Very cool. Is this the new one or the yeah, old that's one? The new one, 2017. 17, okay. I didn't take the 2014. Oh, okay. I already moved the place to this one. You already switched it, okay. Mm, yeah, that one is for sale. Don't talk to this guy, he's not as friendly. <laughs> he's not the friendliest oh, yeah. guy in the world. He lives by me. <laughs> plays Jersey yeah, taxes. Right? Is that a beauty? He's got two of them too. It's, man, the ride is amazing. Isn't it nice today? Unbelievable. You ready to ride? I don't want to sit and talk. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, let's go for a ride. But the bike is like... It's good, right? Safe? Everything's good? It's very tall gears. I'm like, I'm doing 5,000 at 90 miles an hour. Yeah, it's like a barely so we're going to head right out and get a ride in while the weather is beautiful like this. Wow. That couldn't be any nicer. You need to have food or anything or gas? Oh, let me take this one. I like the thick swing arm. How's the brake? You only have one disc in one side, right? Yeah, all of them have this. And these little scoops to put the air into the brake. The front brake feels the same as a regular brake? difference it's very strong strong enough for what we need right yeah even for the track day would be more than enough unless you're like a uh, top level racer maybe then it's uh, Craig check out this front brake Check this uh, out. Pretty cool. Miles. Because you don't see those. Anymore. No. 
But this they went out of business, now they're back in business. They're back in business. They're selling it. There's plenty of parts. Look at the little scoops yeah, on the yeah. front row. That's cool. Look, look at that, look at the little scoops. That's cool. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was this the last model he made? Nice carbon fiber. Right? Yeah, I think it is. That was the last I'm not sure. model, right? I'm not sure. Vlad knows all this tricky stuff. I only know how to paint. That's all I do. We were at Pocono doing a track day and he came out with two of these and he let everybody take a test ride on a track. So that one is fixed and I took pictures. It was, it was cool. That was 2014. I was in California and I, got, I went to the only live wire. So Vlad had it, has added a Buell, and he's going to only keep one of them, to his beautiful collection of bikes that includes Bomotas and um, Aprilas and uh, Mondials and whatever. And this bike, this thing was pretty clean, I have to admit. The guy that had it did track days for sure, but it was whistle, whistle clean. 40 pounds. This is the stock one. Oh, here yeah. comes Jim. Oh, well, who said World War II was over? Where's the machine gun? Look at this. And they have the account for the vibration. So the the board. And then the actual panel cracks too. So they made they made an upgrade. But the one I got, that's why he's called communication. It works fine. I saw it. It's the first time I've seen it. Well, I could have bought it this one, but when I got this, you know, it buys the companies and sells the parts. This I like too, having this all adjustable. Yeah. That's nice. A nice little to like the Ducatis have. The body work is nice. little, is a little one which is covers the fan with like a shark gills. Ah. And they call it hammerhead. So they got the shark gills here, they got a few shark gills in here, and I think a couple of them in here. So very little and it's a little more edgy. edgy. Mike, are we gonna ride or are we gonna talk? Oh, let's, let's ride. There's my new bike. Vlad, do you know Fast Mike? No, but now I know. But, but listen, when you ride behind him, I he's wanna, too fast. I want to ride a spirited ride. A spirited ride? A spirited ride. He drinks, too. <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy, but spirited. You he's know. drinking coffee. It's coffee. It's coffee. It's the best. It's coffee. You ready to ride or I what? Wanna ride, I want to ride. Talk is like, cheap. Buells are cheap. ride like the wind. Yep. We ride like Vlad. <laughs> what is this thing? And Mike said he's going to buy everybody ice cream today. I like how nice the carbon fiber is on this. That's a nice shape. First it was called Buell. Oh, it's a Buell. Yeah, then they, uh, when Harley kicked them out and kept the name of Buell, so he, he named it EBR. Like no, I'm happy to say. <laughs> Nice little dashboard. Yep. So a big congratulation to Vlad on again a beautiful a beautiful addition to his collection and I I don't think there's a lot of work to be done on this to bring it up to really top level. It looks pretty top level right now. It is really a clean looking example of this bike, which now are getting rarer and rarer by the year. So we do try to post up a new video almost every day. We try to include everybody that we can on the video. The video is about our group of friends and the people we share our videos with. You're, obviously, if you're watching this, you're one of them. And I always think how lucky I am to have this group of friends, to have the bikes I have, to have Karen, to have the family I have, the fish. I've just got a lot of stuff to be thankful for, and I try to be thankful for it every night. But the coolest thing, to go to these meetups and see some new bikes you haven't seen at all, see some friends you haven't seen in a long time, and obviously, Vlad and I, by the way, have similar birthdays, right? One right after another. He got this Buell for his birthday, and I got socks.
But two years ago, I got my MT-09. Thanks for watching.